Champion Award. But first, let's take a moment to hear from last year Champion Award recipient, Mark Bertolino from Aetna. Hi, I am Mark Bertolini, the Chairman and CEO of Aetna. I am also last year's Out and Equal Champion Award recipient and the executive sponsor of Angle, Aetna's ERG for gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, and ally employees. Anyone who is committed to achieving equality for LGBT people in the workplace is a champion to me. I would like to offer a special thank you to this year's Audi Champion Award finalists for their work and contributions to the cause. I have also seen the difference we can make when we commit to creating a safe and equitable environment for you, the LGBT workforce. At Aetna, we have worked hard to make sure our own LGBT community feels accepted and valued. By appreciating the differences among all of our employees, we've built a workforce that reflects and understands the customers we serve. As a judge for this year's Audis, I applaud the innovation and commitment that these champions represent. Together, we will keep the conversation going and continue to educate and enlighten those around us. And one day, we'll succeed in achieving true and lasting equality. The Champion Award recognizes a non-LGBT person who has played a championing role in the equal treatment of LGBT employees on the job. This individual will have shown a unique commitment to LGBT workplace rights and will have used his or her talents to further that cause, even at some risk. The finalists for the 2011 Champion Award are Van A. Harrison, The Boeing Company, Tom Melke, Kimberly Clark, Dr. Sophie Vanderbrook, Xerox, Thomas J. Vilsack, Secretary, United States Department of Agriculture, and Carol Young, Chevron. And this year's award goes to Dr. Sophie Vanderbroek. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, uh, first of all, would like to thank all of the Xerox Galaxy Employee Resource Group because you don't win an award unless you're nominated. So thank you guys for working with you and you've been amazing. So, um, I, I, about three years ago, I became the champion, the executive champion for Galaxy, our, our employee resource group. And up until the first two decades of my career at Xerox, uh, I had the opportunity to interact with many, many, a wide variety of people. Uh, people from many cultures and races, from pre-baby boomers to Gen X, individuals with disabilities, individuals with different religious belief and non-believers, and from very different backgrounds. However, until becoming the champion for Galaxy, uh, I really had no, uh, not met many uh, gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender people at Xerox. And in fact, uh, I, I have no openly gay friends or family. Uh, and again, I grew up in Europe, and in fact, I should say Europe is even way behind where we are in the US today. Uh, so I, um, and so this was surprising to me. So I definitely have never met anyone brave enough to go through a gender transition. And although I'm a corporate officer at a company that truly embraces diversity, and we had done so for 40 years, our LGBT employees have basically been invisible to me. So in my champion role, many of my colleagues, and I see them out there, hi guys. <laughs> Uh, started sharing their personal and often painful journeys in becoming authentic. 
there were many touching moments. Uh, two employees going through a gender transition uh, could not afford to pay for surgery. Others admitted to lying about their personal lives as, as they didn't feel comfortable being out. I met couples who had lived together for decades but were not allowed to marry, something I had taken for granted and in fact had done twice. <laughs> so I couldn't believe you guys couldn't do it, right? <laughs> I recall being on the verge of tears hearing stories of people who were rejected by co-workers and even by their family because of religious reasons. None of this is fair, and all I could think was, how can I help? So together with Galaxy, we started on a mission to make sure all our LGBT employees can choose to be visible at work, can choose to really be home at work. Uh, we reached out to, for example, one of the things we did, we reached out to all my corporate officers' peers, so the corporate officers at Xerox, to give them a, an opportunity to understand the specific challenges LGBT employees face. We called it LGBT 101. And all these corporate officers became executive allies, which was really great. So when the day came to recommend the self-ID pilot or to establish transgender benefits or to support the DOMA and Mickey brief or to speak up for equal marriage rights in New York State, we did not have to wait. We had all these corporate allies. So at Xerox, we were able to quickly express and stand behind our values and prompt, promptly do what was just the right thing to do. So being the champion uh, for the Xerox LGBT employees has been a wonderful experience. I truly feel privileged and proud of having played a role in the historical passing of the same sex uh, marriage legislation in New York State. I'd <laughs> I cherish the memory of actually standing on the steps of City Hall with the mayor of Rochester, New York. And we, myself and several of my colleagues, uh, we were the only large Rochester employer with the courage to publicly stand up for our beliefs. So this is my third Art and Equal Workplace Summit, and participating in these summits really made me realize the business power and the broad diversity within your own community. Most of all, I became great friends and gained enormous admiration for our Galaxy members. They have the amazing courage to be themselves at work, and they really have the passion to speak up for what's right. Countless LGBT employees at Xerox have benefited from the activism of the Galaxy board members, and those people now also there to be themselves at work, there to really be home at, at Xerox. The most touching experience was when the Galaxy board members came to my home for dinner. And luckily I'm married to a guy who is a perfect cook, so, <laughs> because there are many of the, on the Galaxy board, it was an enjoyable and inspiring evening for my family in which we learned about the full range of interests, activities, and life experiences of my colleagues. I realized then how much my association with all of you has enriched our lives at home. In the last three years, lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans transgender issues have become a frequent topic of conversation at the dinner table with my husband and our blended family of six young adults and whoever else happens to be there for dinner. And so we have learned to discuss difficult topics and suspend judgment. We are more understanding and open-minded and respectful because of it. So I only have gratitude, gratitude to all of you and all of the people in your community for this awesome gift. Thank you very much.